Welcome to the Art of Simple Golf. My name is Alistair Davis and I'm a golf professional here at the Forest of Arden where I'm filming this video. And this video is all about how to strike your fairway woods better. And in, in smaller terms, how to stop topping your fairway woods. I get a lot of my pupils say to me that they top their fairway woods and they hit the driver quite nicely and they kind of ask me the reasons why. So what I want to do in this video is give you a simple conceptual reason why that happens. And then a nice little process to do in the golf course is going to help you strike your fairway woods better. And potentially from it, also you'll get a little drill you can do in the practice area to improve this strike further. So I've got a three wood, and we're going to hit a three wood in a minute off, off the ground here and show you how we do that. But essentially the first thing I want to start with is the conceptual reason why people top their fairway woods. Now most people think they have to kind of sweep the ball up in the air and almost lift the ball in the air to get it going forward. And that's kind of their view of success. So then we get these golf swings that very much look like this and they're hitting up on the ball too much with their fairway woods. Now we know that the best players in the world hit down the ball with a three wood about three degrees. And then most of the almonds I would see would definitely hit up on the golf ball. And that, what that does is really makes the club bottom out before we make contact. And we tend to see the body in this kind of shape and there's very much a lack of weight transfer through the ball. So what I want to do when you play golf on the golf course is make sure you have a practice swing. And the practice swing would look kind of like that, where we make good ground contact on the ground every time. And then that's going to ensure we get better contact on the ball without any question. But also then when we go to the practice area, we might well use this drill, where we have a tee peg in front of the ball about a club head width. And what we're going to try and do here is try and hit the golf ball and get the tee peg to disappear with a golf club, and not with the ball hitting the tee peg away. So in terms of our setup, we set up to as we would normal. So for a three wood, we want the ball position just right of center, with the stance to be shoulder width. And then from there, we want to feel like we hit a normal golf swing. But I'm really focusing here on the tee peg, okay? And as you see from the shot, the tee peg has disappeared. So the evidence in what I've done will show me that I've hit down the golf ball, and that my low point is after the golf ball, which is essential to make good contact with the fairway wood. So what I want to do really from this is abolish the methodology that you're trying to lift the ball in the air and sweep the ball off the fairway and actually get you to try and feel in your practice wings. You associate the feeling of hitting down on the ball and through the golf ball and then use a drill such as the one we did here to help you striking on the range so that when you do to the golf course it becomes second nature. As much as possible when we're on the golf course we want things to be natural and second nature and let our natural golfing instinct take over. And we don't want consciousness on the technique of what we're trying to do. So do a great practice swing that gives you feels and tells your brain what you want to do. Then go into autopilot and execute the shot with commitment. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please like and subscribe. And post any comments you have down below.